Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Manual. Yes, it is good to be back. And today's episode is going to be all about planting, because I've got some really cool little things on my uh, inventory. Some of these we won't be able to plant, but it will give you a good idea of what you can and can't plant. I'm going to try and format my videos so that the information part is at the beginning, so like the tutorial is at the beginning, and then the end or the last half of the episode is just me pissing around in Minecraft doing my own thing maybe doing a few builds but it will always be centered around the tutorial so today it's all about planting because we kind of need wood and stuff like that especially bamboo for what we need to build and yeah then the next half is probably going to be a starter house and we'll also try and enclose the camels as well and I'll probably have to show you how they're bred as well. But that's a different thing. We need to sleep first and also find where we want to build first. So I've had a good scout around and I think I know where I'm going to be putting my starter base or starter house at the moment. And what we're going to be doing with this area. But that is going to be for the second half. Today we are going to be doing planting and how to get resources. Essentially farming. Uh, which is always fun in Minecraft, but not when you're doing it manually per se, but I kind of if I show you how to do it manually Then you can come up with farms on your own Basically is how I can think of it. So first of all, let's start off with trees because that's the main one As you can see, I've got a load of stuff in my inventory Some of this is going to be planted for wood and some of it you won't need for wood at all Basically some of these you can use for wood to get wood even like jungle dark uh, jungle, <laughs> dark oak, birch, oak saplings, there's a couple of others, there's also acacia trees that you find in, that's the dark orangey grassy biome with all the hills and the orange trees, that's where you find, that's acacia, and then there's another one, the new one, the cherry blossom, I haven't got any of them, I would like to get some, but I'm not walking back until I've got an elytra so we're gonna have to leave that but I can you can assure uh, but they grow as they would normal trees anyway and then there's some quirks like there's a four by four trees as you can see in the jungle over there they're big ones and then there's a few others that can do that as well like dark oak saplings but without further ado let's get into it I don't have any bone mill so unfortunately this might be a bit longer for me be a couple of seconds for you though so we start off with our single trees that we can plant and that is basically m most if not all of them except one so we can plant an oak sapling with just one down in fact this is the only one of two that you can plant with only one sapling the second one is birch so these two saplings don't require a four by four placement of saplings to grow anything you can just grow them as is jungle on the other hand is a little bit of a different story so i'm going to move that sapling over there so that it grows jungle you can grow as a single but you can also grow it as a four by four so if we get over to here so for a four by four to work you place four saplings like that and you also want the edge of these blocks to be clear it doesn't necessarily matter about water um, but you want these blocks to be clear so that it can grow I don't know if they've got rid of that or not now I think they have it doesn't necessarily have to be clear um, but it makes it grow faster if it is essentially uh, so that's jungle we can plant them with a single or a 4x4 four four. I might as well add bamboo as well because we can get wooden sticks out of it so bamboo we can grow like this, literally either on sand or dirt. It grows up like that. That's bamboo there. So this is the bamboo I collected last a few episodes ago even. And basically you just chop it down. I'll use my fist. You can use a sword which will instantly cut it down. Or you can use your fist. Uh, there are other ways like pistons you can use. And yeah, it basically gives you bamboo like this. Which you can just plant on the ground if you wanted to get renew it. Um, also... If we go in our crafting bench, we can make blocks of bamboo with a nine by nine <laughs> with a nine by nine formation of bamboo like that. We get a block of bamboo, and with this block we can use 
we can get bamboo planks, but we can also strip it with a axe. But I don't have an axe at the moment, but we can strip in, get the strip variants and all the other kind of log variants as well. There's also a mosaic variant as well, which is cool. So if we did this, we get two. We get some half slabs and then do the old thing. We get bamboo mosaic, which is an awesome little block. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to experiment with the bamboo blocks because they're going to be really fun to build with in my mind, especially with where I am. They're going to fit in really well. So that's bamboo. So let's move on to dark oak. With dark oak, this is a 4x4. Four four. So you can only place it 4x4. Four four. It will not grow if it's just a single one like that. No matter how long it no matter how many much bone mill you give it or how long you give it to grow, it just won't grow. So that needs to be a 4x4. Four four. That's the only sapling that does need to be a 4x4, four four, mind you. All the rest, you don't need it. And also... Birch, cherry and oak are never a 4x4, four four, it's only a 1. So that is just something to bear in mind. I went AFK for a few minutes and all of these trees have grown now. So we've got our birch, our dark oak, our jungle. And the other two, the single jungle and the other oak have not grown yet. Um, also there's a load of mobs around, uh, we may have lost some villagers in the process of these trees growing. We've gone into farming trees, now let's go into farming other stuff. So other stuff we've got like melons and pumpkins, so other stuff that we can grow without farmland is basically not many. Bamboo which I've mentioned, we can also plant sugarcane next to water, this kind of has to be next to water otherwise it won't work unfortunately on either dirt or sand this has always been the case so that's good but it does i stress enough need to be next to water we cannot place it anywhere where it's not next to water unfortunately then we've got a cactus which we can place on sand it does not work on dirt or grass unfortunately so it can only grow on sand uh, as opposed to the other stuff then we go into something which is interesting so cocoa beans from my knowledge is the only kind of thing that grows like organic matter seed even i suppose it's a bean a seed same thing that you need wood for so cocoa beans will only grow on jungle wood and it needs to be the wood i think it can be the strict variety but it does need to be the wood but yeah it's weird that's most of the ones that don't need farmland now let's get on to ones that do need farmland and there are a fair few uh i don't know if i even have all the things but i have most of the things so it turns out that there isn't anything else apart from wheat growing in this village but not to worry we don't really need anything apart from wheat and even then we don't really need anything like that at the moment because of all of these hay bales around but it will at least serve as an information point on how to grow stuff so what we need is we need two sticks which I've already got and whatever you want to make a hoe out of in this case I'm literally just going to use cobblestone so I think we only need two but i've got three just in case yeah we only need two cobblestone so two there and then sticks that will give us our trail or our hoe as the game calls it and then basically all we want to do is go up to dirt we do need to make sure that there's water next to it so water will flow within four blocks of a dirt block so if we have this as water it will flow from here and then four blocks in each cardinal direction because we've got water next to it, it won't necessarily matter too much but we right click on the dirt and it becomes farmland and this we use to grow crops on so there's carrots potatoes which we don't have but you can get them as a rare drop from killing zombies so that's a good one there's also beetroot seeds which you can grow on farmland and the new plants which i don't have at the moment and i can't remember what they're called torch there's the torch flower and the other one um but they need farmland as well but i've only got seeds wheat seeds at the moment so this is all we can really grow i've got an advancement a cd place that is for planting any seed and watching it grow um so that's what we've got that gives you an advancement and yeah so we could bow mill these to grow up 
or we could just wait until they grow up normally. So that's how we can grow our seeds. Um, but normally, the things that I'm normally interested in is melons and pumpkins. So these are a bit different. So this is our pumpkin. I don't have any melons, but these are our melon slices and you can find melons in the jungle over there. So melons break apart into melon slices, unlike a pumpkin, which will just break apart into a pumpkin. Uh, so with these melon slices, you can make seeds out of them. So I'm going to do that with these melon slices. And then the same with the pumpkins. So you get four seeds per pumpkin, uh, which is more than enough what I need. I only need like four or eight seeds per pumpkin. So we've got our melon and pumpkin seeds. And these do need um, farmland to grow as well. We cannot grow melons and pumpkins on dirt or grass. It does need farmland, unfortunately. And then when these grow, it will pick a block to grow on. So it will either pick north, south, east or west. And yeah, it would basically just be on that block as either a melon or a pumpkin. But it also destroys the farmland next to it as well, which is a bit annoying. But there's ways to mitigate that as well. And it makes for interesting farms as well. So we are just going to plant a couple of these down at the moment. So that we can get the seeds back. But I think that's pretty much all the basics of farming. Hope that was interesting. Now let's get on to our second part which is building. And we haven't really got established ourselves a place here. I've got a place where I want to start building. And um, we're probably going to be starting building a little like starter house i've settled on a spot to build this little starter house uh it's going to be small on the outside but then i'm going to dig down underneath so that we can have some storage and stuff so it's only going to be like an eight by eight or something like that not even that really i don't really have the tools to do anything too suspicious suspicious too <laughs> spectacular but we can make a start so i'm basically just going to do the old wood frame there yeah i did it oh yeah i was i wasn't a block off all right, so now we can go three, three blocks up from here. So that's that, and then we're just basically fill this in the, this wall with sandstone. I will leave a gap for the door. We'll just have a two by one door on this. And we do want to leave a block inwards from this wood as well. I just like building like this sometimes, something like that. So it just adds a little, a tiny little more detail to it. If this was bigger, I'd make it grander and use the use these for door frames or window frames or something like that. But because it's just so small, this is more than enough for what I need at the moment. I didn't realise it was night. That might be a problem. Alright, so we've got ourselves our sandstone box. And then if we go underneath, we've got ourselves our dark oak box with a bed. Obviously... This is uh, just for storage and stuff like that. So there's no point in decorating it that much. Otherwise, I'd have like a cosy little TV over there. And then I'd have like a couch there and bookshelves on this side. We could make it cosy eventually. But for now, this is probably realistically just going to be full with a load of chests. But I've got a load of items to move over here. So I think I'm going to leave that there for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Mighty Eye. I hope you enjoyed this episode and got something out of it. Next episode is going to be farming. So we're going to be starting some farms next episode. Really cool. About that. Really. Uh, there, there. I can't even speak. I'm so excited I can't speak. I'm really excited to do that. And figure out what farms we need for this build. Because there are quite a few. Also we need to he head into the nether. Uh, so we might even do that next episode and then do the farms after because we need stuff from the never to be fair with you so anyway thank you very much for watching my name is mighty high if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding the bell for further uploads i've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching good